Okay, folks, now I want to pick up where we left off, and what we did was with the polygonal lasso tool, but now we're also going to use the lasso tool, but I'm going to show you a different menu. We're going to go into the levels menu now, which is uh, the black and white. I'm going to click on the polygonal lasso tool first. So after I click on the polygonal lasso, I'm going to go to my car layer. Within my car layer, I'm going to start, let's get a little closer with the magnifying glass. You get nice and close. Right about there is good. Click your polygonal lasso again. And I'm going to start here. And I'm going to just put a small tint across this top of the window. So that this way that we know that, you know, it just blocks the sun, things like that. And this information is how you will darken any image. Not just the front of a, a car and the windshield. So I'm going to trace this thing now. That's fine. Now, now that that's traced, I'm going to hit control zero or view fit on screen which is control zero and now I can see the whole car in the car layer again if you're in the front rim layer and you go to edit copy it's not gonna work because why what does that mean well if you take all this away you're trying to copy this information out of this front rim layer which is only this if I trace this in here yeah I can cut a piece but you have to be in the car layer to get this piece of graphic information into a layer. So, in the car layer, we go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. And now I have layer one right here. And this layer one, if I took this away, this is what layer one is. It's just the top of a windshield. So if I double click it, I'm going to call it front front windshield. Like I said, I don't care if you call your layers peanut butter and jelly. I just want to know that you know what your layers are. So I'll bring everything back to life, right? Now I want to make this portion of the car dark. So in the front windshield layer, I'm going to bring it all the way up to the top as usual. And I'm going to hit control L or image adjustments levels. And in the levels menu, it pops up in the levels menu I'm gonna go into the front windshield and in the levels menu watch watch this part when I change the levels it gets light and this way it makes it darker so now I have it darker here I'll go just a little bit lighter like that so it's a little more convincing and now you have it so this is how you make the levels let's just do one more window together let's make this one completely blacked out so I'm gonna go to the polygonal lasso tool I'm going back to the polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to trace this portion of the window. So I'm going to get closer to the window right about here. You can grab the hand tool. It allows you to kind of throw the picture plane any way you want so you could edit it, right? Go to the polygonal lasso and we're going to trace only the glass. And you can get a little bit on e out of the pixels. Like it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect at this size. If you go off this much it's going to be noticed though. Okay, so you go slow and steady, and you just trace only the window part, the area of the window. So that's what I'm tracing. Yeah, I'm going over um, other divisions, but that's all right. In this, all right, I'll stop that. Actually, I'll, I'll go up this part of the window. So this way, the driver has a tinted window. Coming around. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I've traced the window now. In the car layer, I will go edit, copy, edit, paste. Now I've got that layer. If I do this, there it is. There's the layer I've just copied and pasted. I'm going to drag this layer up to the top now. I'm going to double click it and call it left window because you have to be specific. Now that I have the left window, I'm going to hit control L. Go back to the levels. To get to the levels, you go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And in the Levels menu, I am then going to bring this to darker. And now it's darkened. But let's see how it looks when I hit Control-0. And now, darken that window up. And now you have a tinted window. See, it's lighter here, and now it's darker. And that is how you use the Levels menu to tint the windows. Again, the Levels, it does a few things. You could do it fully dark, fully black this way, where it's fully black. 
or you could leave it that way and just do the input levels which keeps the little keeps more of the graphic intact it's entirely up to you but that's how you use the levels menu so you have the everything is divided up into a layer two and I like doing it this way because it gives you a reference of each layer on the material that you've learned all right so you have a front rim you have a back rim you have the right headlight the left headlight which is the lasso tools the rims are the magnetic lasso tool the headlights are the polygonal lasso tool and then you also have the front and the back of the windows okay so have fun with this and that is how you do the uh, the levels to change something to make it darker you can also edit a picture and make it lighter with that as well okay all right thank you and have some fun bye bye